As waters in the Thompson River rise around one foot a day, the city of Kalos is preparing Riverside Park for a flood. With projections suggesting a worst-case scenario equivalent to what the city saw in 1972, municipal workers are starting early and installing a large barrier. We're expecting summers around the middle of June to be the, the peak of the North and South Thompson. It really depends on when the two rivers peak. The, the real concern that we have is the North and South Thompson rivers peaking at the same time. Yeah, so based on the river forecast that we've seen recently and our coordination calls with the various ministries of the province, we are still projecting a really high flood year this year, somewhere between the levels that we saw in 1999 and 1972. So based on that and some of the confirmations we got last week, we have started deploying HESCO flood barriers throughout Riverside Park here uh, to protect the critical sewer infrastructure that we have running through this park. We can't allow that uh, infrastructure to become overwhelmed as it all leads to one of our major pump stations in town here. Um, what we're doing right now is we're, we're definitely getting way ahead of when we would normally be installing these uh, flood protection barriers. But obviously with the challenges of COVID and things taking a little longer than it typically would on a, a general year, we wanted to make sure this stuff was out and installed well in advance. The barriers that we're installing are a meter high and in some areas of the park we need two uh, stacked on top of each other, so two meters of protection. So you can project water levels uh, you know, running across the grass uh, approaching that two meter high mark, so about six feet of water. Uh, being held back by these barriers. It's going to be uh, potentially a lot of water that we're going to be holding back here. So the pier will be closed as of tomorrow on Tuesday. Uh, Rivers Trail is going to be closed, kind of a progressive closure here as we work from east to west, but that'll eventually be closed by the end of the week here and we'll be pushing everybody south onto the kind of the southern paths that go through the park. Yeah, everything that you see on a typical flood year that's in our flood response plan, things like sealing catch basins and manholes, with the, uh, the white bags that you see out on the streets. Uh, we'll be doing that, uh, closing piers, closing boat launches, all of that sort of stuff that's in our plan will happen this year. We're just not at the trigger point for that stuff to begin happening yet. For Castanet News in Kamloops, I'm Brendan Kurgan.